If you guys remember, there was a hearing, the clip has been played endlessly in the past uh, few weeks, where they asked uh, one of the heads of the NSA, I believe Clapper, and they said, is it the case that the NSA is spying on millions of Americans? And he said, no. And then he said, not wittingly. So yeah, maybe if we by accident happen to maybe collect everybody's information, well, we're not doing it on purpose, so please don't hit me, look away. It's fine what we're doing, I promise. Well, uh, that was a very brazen lie. In fact, as we learned in modern times, not only are they spying on us, they're basically spying on every aspect of our lives, whether it be emails, text messages, phone calls, whether it be the Blarney program, the PRISM program, or any of the other scandals that, that have uh, come out in recent times. Well, within the first week that we learned about the Verizon NSA scandal, the government said, we stopped 12 terrorist attacks by using these programs. 12 attacks! And I saw that number repeated ad nauseum in uh, multiple different mainstream news sources. Then yesterday, I kept seeing the number 20. Apparently in that brief time span, we managed to stop eight more terrorist attacks. So now it's, oh yes, uh, we were able to thwart 20 terrorist attacks. The mainstream media was widely reporting on that. I saw three articles with the number 20 in it yesterday. Any specifics? No, no specifics at all, just the number 20. Because when you ask them any further questions, well, can you tell us uh, where these attacks were supposed to be and how much went into it and any of the details? No, nope, that's top secret. We can't tell you that. So then why should we believe you that you stopped 20 if you're not going to give us any information? Well, anyway, today the NSA director was speaking in front of a House panel and how many terrorist attacks did the program thwart today? What's their answer today? 50! 50, including an attack at the New York Stock Exchange and an attack uh, on your grandma while she was uh, cooking apple pie. Well, no, I made up that last part, but they did say 50 terrorist attacks. We know for sure 50 terrorist attacks has been stopped, including one at the New York Stock Exchange. Again, they refuse to give any details into these attacks, and I love how uh, dumb they are in their lies. So originally it was 12, which I guess was somewhat uh, of a better made up number because it's not a round number. It is an even number, so you didn't, they didn't go all the way for an odd number like 13 or something like that, which would have been more believable. Uh, but then they went to 20 amateurs. They're putting an even number. It's a round number. It's an interval of 10. And uh, now it's 50. <sighs> Tomorrow it'll be uh, 100,000 terrorist attacks were stopped because of this NSA program. <laughs> now, uh, the few specifics that were given are just flat out hilarious. So one of them says, you remember back in 2006 when there was mass radical Muslim fundamentalist protest because of a Danish cartoon that depicted the Prophet Muhammad? It was big news. It was everywhere. Everybody was reporting on it. There have been multiple like South Park episodes about that. Bill Maher talked about it. So many different areas had mentioned this, right? that, look, these guys are, are violent simply because of a cartoon depicting Muhammad. So, uh, you know what the argument is from the NSA? We stopped a terrorist attack of that, uh, of that building. <laughs> yeah, but wait a second. That building, that magazine, I believe is Charlie Hebdo. I don't know why that just popped in my head. I'm re remembering it from back then. I'm not sure if the headquarters is in France or it's in Denmark or it's, it's not in the United States, right? And furthermore, you know what you don't need the NSA program for? To stop those guys. How do I know that? Well, everybody who was at the protests calling for the death of a cartoonist for exercising free speech, you can get a warrant to spy on those people. You can go to a regular court and a regular judge will say, hmm, is it probable cause to check into these guys who are screaming for the death of a cartoonist for drawing a picture? Well, yeah, I think that is probable cause to look into it. But they say, no, 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 uh, we use the NSA spying program in order to do that. Yeah, but don't you get it? The NSA spying program, it collects everybody's data. So why do you need the plumber from down the street's data or the construction worker or the teacher or any, or any, uh, any of the regular people in society? Why do you need any of their information to go after the radical Islamists? You don't. The regular legal system worked just fine. So that's the one example they gave. And by the way, they didn't even give specifics on that example. 
they just said, yeah, you know the cartoon thing in uh, 06 or whatever? We totally uh, stopped a terrorist attack about that. Help me out here, guys. I got, I got to make up stuff all on my own here. So uh, these guys have no credibility whatsoever. And the media, all oh, the media, the media is so sad. They just uncritically report all of the things that the government is saying as if those things are facts. Understand something. We don't live in Soviet Russia. We don't have Pravda, which officially prints the state propaganda of the people in power, and that is the dissemination of truth. No, we have a free press. So that press is supposed to listen to the government and then fact check it and say, okay, well, you're saying we stopped 12 terrorist attacks, then 20, now 50. Do you have evidence for all 50 separate uh, occasions? Because that's what you should give me before I print this or else it's just flat out propaganda from the state. But no, they don't ask for evidence. They print it uncritically, and you should see headlines all over the place. Uh, NSA program stopped 50 terrorist attacks. Bah! Glaring, uh, you know, all, o all over. Yeah, but no, the headline should be, <laughs> Head of NSA says NSA is awesome. What a surprise. That's like the head of, uh, you know, Bear Stearns before they went belly up saying Bear Stearns is awesome. There's a, a little thing called conflict of interest they have to cover their own ass. I know it's a hard thing to, to catch on to, right? I mean, you need to really follow politics closely to get that basic reality through your head. Totally don't. That was sarcasm. 